I have returned. This will be the part, uh, the beginning of the second video part, so part two. Uh, so let's get into this. I was doing a little bit of troubleshooting, so there's a bit of gameplay during the BRB segment there. So that's that's what that was about. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, okay. I accidentally turned on the desktop audio is what the problem was. Um, because it, oh, it vibrates the controller when she pecks your head. But yeah, I accidentally turned on the desktop audio so it was recording OBS and my audio. So that's unfortunate. I'm just gonna zoom that all the way down so that even when I hit that, right, it will not have the audio. Okay. Sorry, troubleshooting. Live video. Live video. All right. Which way is in? Yes. Okay. Sorry. Like I said, this level I have not played very much because because it scares me. There's a scary part in this one. I don't want to be scared. I'm lying. I love horror stuff, but like. I genuinely, like, was really scared of parts of this level as a kid. Um, and I've faced my fears since, but in the meantime, there is the ladder. In the meantime, I gotta actually get through this level. See that? See that sick timing? Whoop. I was showing off. My hubris! Oh, uh, not hubris, but, uh, that makes me think of the Ace Attorney clone. It was a Harvey Birdman game on PS2 and, uh, PSP. I only ever played the demo for it on PSP, but it was, it was just, like, a Phoenix Wright clone, but I would say I liked it a little better because it was still the fun Phoenix Wright gameplay, but it was Harvey Birdman characters and like Harvey Birdman writing and stuff, which is, I gotta say, it, I, I, it's one of my favorite shows ever. I loved Harvey Birdman so much. It, it just, uh, I believe Maurice LaMarche, who played a bunch of characters on that, talked about how he, how they, they twisted Hanna-Barbera. They took it. They took the ideas of Hanna-Barbera and they, they turned them into these dark, twisty things. And it's cool. It's very funny. I find it quite funny. And I will probably play that at some point. I gotta, um... Gotta figure out how to do it. I think... I'm pretty sure my emulator that I have does... Pretty sure my emulator does, uh... Sorry, I just got a concerning message on my desktop about, uh... My external hard drive here. Oh no, please tell me it did not die. That'd be very unfortunate. I have a lot of important stuff on that hard drive. Hmm... I will look into that later, when I have to archive again, because the archive is on there, and I'd like to be able to archive all those videos. I mean, I could download them and stuff, but like, shoot, I've been thinking about how I need to get a new external hard drive, because that one is going to die anytime soon. Whew, I think that's, that's my wake-up call on that. I just really, really badly need to get a new external hard drive. Oh, okay, there it is. It is not dead. Not yet. It will survive. Hold on. I'm just gonna... This is riveting content, I know, but uh, I just want to make sure that I got to the spot so that I can do the transfers real quick, like... What am I looking for? No, I was looking for the folder I was already in, because I'm... I'm a genius. I know how computers work. I computered once. It was horrible. Oh, oh, oh. What's that one old joke? Uh, 
I went to New York City. It was horrible. There were shootings. There were stabbings. There were muggings. And that was just the lobby. It's dumb. But <laughs> I, I like that joke a lot. I used to follow, I think it was a PBS owned channel? But there was a YouTube channel um, called Old Jews Telling Jokes. And they just got like a lot of, they got older Jewish people. And they brought them in, they put them in front of a backdrop, mic them up, you know, film them really nice. And they would just tell a joke they like. And it was great. <laughs> they, they, there was a lot of really funny jokes I'd never heard before. Um, one of the best ones, it was not even a very good joke, but the best part was the old, the lady saying it, she like said the joke. It's like, okay, that's all right. <laughs> and then she lost her mind laughing for like five minutes at it. And they just had the whole thing unbroken. It was, it was adorable. Man, I just, I like humor and I like people enjoying it. So yeah, if that channel still exists on YouTube, old Jews telling jokes. It was it was very classy and very fun. And it's regardless of what the name might sound like, it was it was all in very good fun. Um it was nothing. I mean, there were some jokes that were a little a little offensive, you know, but it was more like they get a little sexual maybe. They would get a little dark sometimes. But they didn't get like I didn't get racial. At least not that I remember. I didn't watch all of them. I watched a good amount, though. Man, I should go back and check that channel. Alright, let me just... Here we go! This is the part that terrified me as a kid! There are the teeth! Oh, there he is! Hi, Clanker! He's, Clinker is a good boy, but he's very scary. He's drowning. He's drowning. We gotta help him, but uh, he does have the goofy eyes, which helps. But he is spooky. Big old metal shark. Uh, he follows you. Why is he looking at me? I don't like it. No. No, please. Clank, stop! Don't look at me like that! Don't look at me with those hungry eyes! Look at that! It's like... It's his skin! His flesh! Peeling away! This poor... Poor scary man! Oh, I know we gotta get a big ol' jump! And get out of here! Get out of here! Alright, I gotta do it at some point. Dive! Dive! It's also such a stressful mission to help him out. Because you gotta go all the way down here, practically drown to help him out. Oh, well, that works. And listen to the music! It just goes silent, it's just a shrill violin. It's terrifying! Who do me this? Who made this for kids? Where's Gloop? I need your bubbles! Give me the bubble! Give me the bubble! Oh no, that only does two? I thought that fills you up completely. Oh no! Gloop! Gloop! Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh, I might die on this one. Oh, where'd Gloop go? Gloop! Gloop! Oh god, my voice is cracking a lot. <laughs> I got a little bit of a thing. No! Oh no, I'm not gonna survive this one. Unless I can get him around the other side. Gloop! Give me your bubble. Give me... Oh! Oh god. Gloop. Gloop. No, that one's gone. That one's gone. He's gone! Oh god, oh god, this is so stressful. See what I mean? I can barely do this as an adult. As a kid, this was so hard. <coughs> okay, an achievement. Good. Like I said, Xbox version, so. Achievements. He has a genie. It's good. Oh god. 
I gotta go, gotta go, gotta get to glue, because I still gotta get all of these music notes. And that Jinjo glue! Large clung bear. Okay, okay, that's that's plenty. That should do me for now. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Gotta get around. Oh god, oh god, it's so tense. Just the violin. Oh, it's so scary. Whoop. And here we go. Okay. Give me the bubble gloop. Yeah. Hi. Hello. I guess, yes, we did not actually need to gloop. Gloop is also a good boy. He got bubbles for us. Give me bubbles. Go. Can I get another one? Ah, oh, I missed it. Well, I just gotta get the ginger one go. Just gotta get the ginger one go. 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 Gotta go. Can I get the Ah uh, don't go for it. Just get out of here. Oh god. Gotta get out. Gotta get out. Oh gotta get out. Don't drown. Don't get caught. Okay. Oh god, it's right there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I got this. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I hate this level. Ooh, I hate this level. The only level in the Banjo Kazooie series I hate more than this one is, uh. Oh, what is it? Uh. Jolly Rogers Lagoon? Which is a fully underwater level. And yes, you can't drown. Some underwater controls. No good. I just. Oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. I just. I hate underwater segments in any game. But, like, these especially are very difficult. Uh, too much garbage. I feel you, Planker. I've been, uh... I've been using the pandemic as an excuse to eat way too much garbage fast food. Because it's like, well, I can't really go out or anything. In reality, that should be the opposite. And I should just cook more, but... Man, I ain't got time for that. Well, maybe I do. I just... I feel so unmotivated to cook. I can't think of, uh... What would... What's good to eat, you know? What do you make? You're in survival mode. There we go. That's too much. Listen to the sounds they use, too. It's just, like... Metal shutters? Bloodshot eyes? This poor man, he's so scary! Oh boy. Just gotta... Slow, slow, slow. <laughs> yeah, there we go. This is when the game starts getting, like, hard. And it's not like it's ridiculously difficult or anything, but it's not the easiest. Uh, this. Is empty honeycomb under here? Yeah. There we go. Now get out. Up and up and yo. Hey ho, yo, hey. All right. Let me go up. Watch out. Welcome! La 
Lovely, lovely. Give me a It's not even how people work on this game talk. I mean, assuming they all sound like Grant Kirko. Uh, who is... I think a cockney accent? Maybe? I don't know. I need to study my accents more. It would help a good deal with my, my work. But it also is quite a lot of work. So... I'm, I'm working on it. I'm doing what I can to be as good as I can be. As fun as I can be. Oh, my stomach. I don't know if that's picking up on mic. My stomach gurgling hard. I should probably eat something soon. I had a very, very light breakfast. I jump. I jump. There we go. And I strike. Whoops. Too quick. And up. Oh, right. This business. It's not the hardest thing. It's kind of like in Mario when you try and jump onto a block you're underneath. So you can... You can control your trajectory decently enough, but it's, uh... Oh no, oh no, don't change the camera on me. Oh, don't change the camera right there. Uh, how did I... Did I pull, like, way out? That seemed to be the most... useful one. Anything to the other side? Oh, that's it. Oh, my leg. My leg hurt. Um... Get, well, those are just look like feathers, so I don't really need those. Once I get the bottles, um... Once I learn how to use the golden feathers, I'm pretty sure he just gives you a max amount. So, I don't need to use them yet. Hmm. Let me move my mic a little closer here. Oh yeah, these guys! These little muty, muted boys. Stinky mutant boys. Or actually, I think that's supposed to be like a toxic gas. This still smells. Get him. Yeah. Get him. Nope. Get him. Get him. Gotta get his soft underbelly. desktop audio volume all the way down because I don't have anybody, um, if I did had somebody on, like, a call, like, Discord or Facebook, then I would have that on and I would have the game monitor silenced. It's difficult to play some games without sound, but with this one, it would not really matter that much. Um, thinking mostly Animal Crossing, it'd be a pain to play without sound. Just go through this tube real quick. Do it. Yeah. No, do the thing. Do the thing. Okay. Thankfully, the hitbox on these are pretty. Pretty wide with the folks. 
from... Through here, I'm pretty sure is another thing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this just leads to a crate where stuff is hidden. I'm glad you just kind of glance off the walls and don't get stuck very easily. Because if you do uh, not, this part would be incredibly difficult. Oh, now you have to do it backwards? Yeesh. Yeah. Got a high standard for how good kids could game, huh? It's like I I don't think I was able to do this as a kid. I'm starting to you know, these swim controls are actually alright. They're still Well, I was gonna say they're not the best, but honestly I can't think of any better swim controls, so that's pretty much, pretty much the best we got. And going as gills, I remember that being a thing. <laughs> yeah, gross. Whoa! I want to go down and whatever business that is yet. Whoa! Whoa! Don't fall! Don't fall! Okay. What do we got down here? Oh no, we got scary again. Ah! Fell back out. Oh, I hate violin music. It's scary. Oh, it's a little Jinjo. Come on, give him, give him to me. Great. That means I'm gonna have to wait for the violin music to come in on my side. I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it scary. Okay. And then, let me check. Oh, maybe you can get in on the other bills. Huh. Okay, here we go. This is a hoop course. You gotta hoop it to whoop it. Nope. You gotta actually talk to somebody first. Oh, you gotta do the green one first, is the thing. Okay. It's, uh, in... The next game, it's all about points. It's green is like one point. Uh, blue is like two points. Maybe green is two points. Whatever. When I play that game, you'll see. And I will play it at some point. I'm just. Not going to 100% that in. And then it's just. Ah! Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Can I make it? Oh, it's gonna be tight. Did I do it? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Oh, and that raises the water level. Sorry, I keep doing stuff with the s to the sound, but the sound is going to be way off sync for you guys. Here we go. I don't want to leave. No, 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 no. I think that's the other gill. I want to go out this side. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna go in through his teeth because I believe that is easier. How far? Let me check my toes. How far am I into this? Five? Oh, I only got five of the. Oh no. Oh no. That's much longer than I thought it would be. Let me in. Let me in your tooth. No. Let me up. Let me up. Let me in the teeth. Come on, I know I can go into the teeth. I know it's a thing. Yeah, that's why they have me blast him out. 
Thank you. Alright, let's go in through the other teeth. Ah, an Ikumbokum. Ikumbokum. Get no. His mouth looks like a toilet bowl, which is probably intentional, knowing. Oh, knowing the humor of these guys. We go, we go, we go around. Step in. Okay, whoop. All right, now nah, just. Okay. Oh my god, why does it have to be this scary music when you're underwater in here? I dislike it. I would rather not if I could. That's acceptable. Ah, there it is. Yeah, pad. Oh, and I guess you could just I think that is the his blowhole. Which I guess would mean he's not a shark, he's a whale? Don't have teeth, by my understanding. Though. Oh, got actually down on the ground. Oh, and then I gotta, gotta talk to the bottles. Although, although the speedrunners have a way where you can just run straight through. I don't know how to do that though, so I'm just gonna just gonna do it correctly. you for filling up my energy. Thank you. Yes, I appreciate it. I think that's the only new move in this world? And aside from the shoe... Ah, there it is. Aside from the shoes in the later worlds, it's pretty much it for, like, moves. Nice. I got it. That can't be everything on the inside, can it? There's gotta be something else in here, right? Don't think you can fly out. Well, maybe you can. I'm gonna try. And if you can, that means you'd be able to fly around the level, but I don't think... No, you can't. Oh, good, I hit the water is what I wanted to do, yeah. Alright, let's see up here. Alright, I got the Jinjo there. I can get... I can get... Uh, let's see, I got everything off top of him, I think. Oh, there's a whole thing over there! I think there's like another tunnel that I can swim into. That next. Whoa. 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 Is there a. Uh... I'm gonna pop that open. Oh, yeah, you just. <laughs> well. You don't do that. That would have been a better idea. Not. Okay, let me. So I think there's a secret. Secret? Yeah. I'm supposed to do that, so. And then there's all the pipes leading away. I got a couple. I don't know. 
Whoops. That's not what I meant to do. Just wasted a gold feather. I mean, not like they're that hard to come by, but it's enough. Okay, and then we just... Whoop. I think there's just a pipe, like, on the bottom of this whole lagoon thing, too, that, like, has... <laughs> uh, it just has a, a jiggy in it. So I'll probably do that after I get all the little pipes. Eleven left. Okay, okay, we're on pace. To, uh... Yes. Pace. I don't know, man. Speedrunning terms. I do not uh, speedrun. I just wash them from time to time. And it's pretty enjoyable. Ah, Jinjo. Oh, the orange Jinjo. Let's see, that's his mouth. So that means that that pipe over there is the one I keep in. That's an Ikumbokum. There's not even anything to Ikumbokum around here. This level doesn't have a transformation. Let me just... Yeah, get out. Rock. Oh, you know what? There's probably... Nope, there is not a secret under there. I feel dumb! Um, okay, this is where the Jinjo was. Just gotta be thorough, because if you're not, like, actually checking to make sure you're getting everything, you, at a certain point, forget what you've even checked. Okay, don't get too far away from this. Classic game moment. You, uh... Sometimes it jitters. I don't know. I don't program. Not usual. I, I've, I've dabbled. A little bit of programming. A little bit of hacking. You'll never know. I'm in. Well, that's what I say. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, that one is. That's the one that had all the mutant boys. And then we go down. This one, I think. Yeah, this is like the long pipe that leads to the jiggy. Yeah, let's let's not spend all the time going back there. Uh, yes, because there's the grate. And there is... Yeah, that's the first one I went in. Hmm. Hold on. What am I missing? That one is where the empty honeycomb was. This is where all the musical notes were. Having 11 notes and one jiggy missing and like a, a, a single empty honeycomb usually means that there's like, there's like a single area that I haven't done yet. What did I miss? This is always one moment in these games I don't don't really like. Is when you gotta just kind of butts around and figure it out as you go. Uh, this is the, the backtracking, backtracking out of desperation. Yeah, yeah, John, your your favorite games do it too, bud. Oh, there's a climbing pipe over here. Why didn't I see that before? Okay. Oh, I did see that before. There you go. Oh, that's right. So do I... Yeah, 
that respawned. Get up under there. That's just the empty honeycomb spot. That was the uh, spring spring leg. Jumpy leg. Oh, there's another pipe. Another pipe. Okay. Ah, yes. Here we go. Oh, no. Whoops. Should have. K Kazooie legged that one. It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. <sighs> My voice is starting to get a little more hoarse. Let me have some more water. <laughs> oh. Two hours, I've beaten my streaming record. I already have the eight I need for affiliate, so that's pretty good. My main thing is just having enough uh, streamers, or viewers, on average. <coughs> which I've not been able to do so far. I'm a little below three, which three is not unreasonable. So I, I appreciate the bar not being super high, like on YouTube, where it's like 4,000 subscribers. And it's like, that's... If I'm just starting out, like, 4,000 is kind of a lot. That was weird. Um... Alright, let me check. Still missing an empty honeycomb and six music notes. That's all eggs. And an extra life. There's a shadow here, which means that something is in there. That might be the other honeycomb. What other jiggy am I missing? I did everything in Clanker, didn't I? Oh, careful. Okay. Has not respawned. Whoop, I don't want to quit. Okay. Gotta do this, and yep. Alright, then we bump through. Okay. There's the other honeycomb. Okay. Increase honeycomb. And then, yeah, I need to find. What one area have I missed? You know, it might be in the beginning part of the level. Let me double check this stuff. Let me double check over here. See, I didn't miss anything. Okay, I did get that guy, so... I guess not. What well, did I get over there? Yeah, those are the leapy pads. You know, I also have not gotten the grunty switch. Huh, where's that at? Um, been up there. Is there a grunty switch in this level? Yeah, there has to be, because it's the... It's the eyes on the grunty rug. Right? Is that this? It might have been bubble gloop. Um, bubble gloop. Being the fish, Gloop, blows bubbles, so, like, why... Why does this Gloop not make the reappearance? Like, Gobi makes a reappearance in this game, which is cute, but Gloop does not. Gloop, Gloop's reappearance in the next game is really sad, because he just... He dies. There's a lot of death in the next game. I guess maybe I should fall through here one time to be, um, be sure that I do the same thing down this. Yeah, here's the grunty switch. Okay. This is the area I was thinking of. Okay. Ooh, that, like, semi-transparency. All 
of notes. All empty things. Jiggies, do the dance. Yeah. Did the dance. That falls into here. Oh, woo? No, oh, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, drop. Okay. Just gotta get out of here. Just double check. New totals? Yep, 100%. 40 minutes on this one! I mean, they get bigger, but it's like, jeez. I also like that when they're starting to introduce challenge, it's challenge in movement. They're like teaching you to swim and stuff. Like, it's... It's like, if you don't swim efficiently, you will drown, which is scary, but it's also like, that. that's a really cool idea for a, uh... for a level. So let's go. And up. And out. Yeah, so many of these platformers is just like, fall to your death, that's how you lose. With this, it's like... You can drown. And that feels a little more visceral because it's like, how many times can people, are people gonna fall to their deaths in real life? You know? Drowning. A lot of people have been near drowning. I've almost drowned a couple times. Because I'm not a very strong swimmer. And also I'm kind of stupid. Not a good combination when you want to go swimming. Let me tell you. What's what's the old-fashioned one? Hear me, you! I don't know why they used to say it like that, but that's how I used to say it. So sometimes I like to say it like that, too. Aha! I knew there was a little secret. Alright, let's get going. Look at that floor. I already got Bubble Gloop Swamp down the thing. So... That works out for me. And then we're gonna do the grunty rug. Bow. Ha bow. Nope. Ha bow. Get down a big ol' schnaz. A big ol' warty witch nose. Yo, yo, Gruntling! Actually, I don't think that's a, he's a Gruntling. Actually, maybe. Forget the specific names for them. Do a dance. It's gonna be very off sync in the stream, I'm sure, because the as I've shed the audio, the audio is a little behind for me. over here. Yes, that goes to Bubble Gloop Swamp. Uh, let me do little secrets over here very quickly. Um, we gotta drop in to get that one from another overworld area. Uh, that's the next note door, which they don't expect you to do. But they don't know that I am what I'd like to call a pro gamer. So, I'm just gonna go through here. <laughs> uh, I mentioned I'm stupid, right? Like, I hope, I hope there's no, uh, no confusion on that part. There's not gonna be a lot of smart humor happening in here, in this here stream. What I call it? Little panel below, I believe I said, uh, what is it, warning, now entering a stupid zone? That's accurate. Alright, and then we can, yep, get out of here, get out of here. Then we can, yep. And actually, I don't know if it's in the Xbox version, but if you do this in the N64 version, you can, uh, okay. It's too early. Realizing how often uh, if you like get on a specific part of this, 
the G nah no. Let me fix that for the Xbox version. In the original version, if you uh if you jump onto there just right, it um it lets you just get the jiggy from inside the sarcophagus without actually having to open it. But it looks like what happened. Boots have a very interesting voice. Oh, okay, so that's how you fall down. But you've got to blow it off first? I'm pretty sure that's one of the grunty switches in the level. Is that like a little visual glitch? I saw something flash by really quick. Alright. There's Gobi's desert over there, but I can't go there yet. And we got more stuff up here. Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, you need over 300, so... I will come back here. I was jumping the gun, I'm just exploring that for now. And... Okay, I don't think I'm gonna get through Bubble Gloop Swamp, but I did at least open it, and I will get over to it so that I can go there next time. Although, when I save and quit, it's gonna just take me to the beginning. Anyways, um, I'll get whatever little secrets around there. I think there's, like, one. So let me just do that, and then we can watch the very fun uh, Game Over screen. One of the big disappointments in TUI for me was that there's no game over screen because it didn't have lives anymore. This game had lives, so you could actually run out of lives and get a game over, so they had a fun cutscene. To at least make it not so bad, you know, you lose, but you, like, get a fun little thing to watch. Uh, in the next one, nothing, because there's no game over, but there is a lot of death. Oh, 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 buff boy. Yup. There we go. Oh, I maxed out at 9, though. That's fine. That's fine. I don't need to have a marker of my achievement. I know I'm the best. The besto could good at E for everyone. I don't know. Let's do here. Oh, you again. I'll come back for you. Don't you worry, dear. I'll be back. And through here is boots. All right, and you learn the boots in here. Although, that one's a little finicky, because it's like... Why would I need to learn how to wear boots? I'm just wearing boots, and they're on a timer. Why would I need to know boots? Also... Hold on, I remember Bubble Gloop Swamp's door going outward. Did they change that, or am I just misremembering it? I don't know. I don't know, man. But that is where I'm gonna finish off my playthrough, and I will continue this at a later date. Um, probably later this week. I don't know... I got some things that I have not scheduled yet, but that I know should be coming up this next week, so I will wait. Just check out, I have a panel underneath my stream that will show my schedule. When I figure out when it'll be, it will go up there. But plans are subject to change, obviously, because I'm still trying to work out how the emulator works and stuff, and all sorts of nonsense. But, um, yeah, that being said, let's exit game. Hold on. I'm pretty sure it saves when you exit here, but let me just let her finish talking. Is there any autosave thing? I don't know. Exit game. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, and we get the awesome grunty laugh. It's kind of scary. All right. Get ready. Get ready for the... Uh, I, I don't know how you'd really say this, the R34 bait? This was like pre-R34, though. Or was it? I guess this was during the internet, and that's one of the rules of the internet. But it's just, here she comes. Here she comes. Ooh, legs. 
Oh no, she's hot now. Hot Grunty is a joy. I like that she still has the scary laugh, even though even with the sexy voice now. now Mumbo's going after her. Is Mumbo like a turtle? He's got weird, like pebbly skin. <sighs> oh no, Tootie's even hotter. Is it getting hot in here? Is it uh just them? Game over. I like the little fangs. All right, that's the end. Oh, and then we can watch the uh, the intro because I, I started it after the intro had come up. So let's just let's just watch that really quick for fun too. Ooh, the new rare logo, sleek, nice, nice. Then we get this fun little musical number. If it wasn't off sync, I would probably be singing the Brental Floss version along with this, which is a very good song. I like Brental Floss a lot. His his lyrics are very fun. Um, I know some people find him less than enjoyable. Coco! That's right, this is a call-out post. Call-out stream the whole time. That's why I did this whole thing. This is why I spent, what, two and a half hours playing this game on stream. Call you out. Could be a Brental Floss hater. All right. Oh yeah, fun fact. Uh, so Banjo Kazooie's original um, original appearance was in Diddy Kong Racing, where that I believe that came out a little before this game, and this was in development. Uh, in, early in development though, because it described Tootie, Banjo's sister, as uh, Banjo's girlfriend in his bio in that game. So. <laughs> Those country countryisms have uh, not gone by the wayside, even for Banjo Kazooie. So enjoy that as we go out here. Thank you very much for watching. Now, thank you very much if you watch later on an archive or on the past broadcast. I'm gonna keep streaming more. I have all this awesome art now, and I have you know things set up nice. So feel free to come back at a later date when I continue playing Banjo Kazooie. Continue some other games that I've played like Stardew Valley and. Uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'll play Banjo-Kazooie Grunty's Revenge at some point when I get my emulator working. I don't know what the problem is with it. I've done everything I can, so we'll find out someday. In the meantime, you have yourself a lovely Sunday. Easter, in fact. Lovely weekend and all that. Uh, I'm probably going to do more egg day stuff before it gets too late. And then I'm also going to go eat because my stomach keeps growling. Hopefully it's not coming up on the mic. Anyways. Thank you. Thank you very much for tuning in. Good night.